Here's a simple explanation of a couple of settings in Photoshop CS3. When you're removing the background from an image using the magic eraser tool or the magic wand, there are a couple of settings here which are the tolerance and the contiguous. I've imported an image to the stage. Now over here we have the image with the um, different shades of green as you can see light green going down slightly to a darker green and the same over here on the right a lighter blue going down to a darker blue I'm going to select the magic eraser tool and we click on the eraser and I'll make sure the magic eraser has the little black square by it like so now, as you can see at the top, we have the tolerance and the contiguous. The anti-alias will leave ticked, and the sample layers will leave ticked. The tolerance goes from 0 to 250. The lower the number will just select or just remove the selected uh, color like so, this lighter color here. So if I just click, left click with the mouse, you see the green has been removed but the other shades of green haven't so if I increase the number up here to 40 okay it's 40 left click on the lighter green and it's now removed the lighter green and the slightly darker green but the darker green at the bottom hasn't been removed yet if I now increase this number up here to 80 and click on the top of the lighter green here it removes all the greens so you can basically see the lower the number the less color range and the higher the number the more of the color ranges it will remove and the same with the blue if we start on the blue with the lighter blue and we've got the tolerance set at 20 I left click on the blue and it removes the lighter blue and if we change the tolerance setting up to 60 and click on the lighter blue here it removes the lighter and the slightly darker blue you see the different tolerance settings because the shades of blue are slightly different to the differing shades of green if you see what I mean there's a slight difference in the, uh, the, the actual color ranges to remove all the blues We'll change the tolerance up to 80. Click on the lighter blue and all the blues are removed. As I said initially, this is a simple explanation of what the tolerances do. And it's just a matter of actually playing about yourself. I generally start off with a tolerance of 30. And then you just see how you'll go. Uh, we'll go into that on the next uh, tutorial. Now here on the stage I've imported another picture with green, blue and we have the blue square and a green square inserted in the blue and inserted in the green as you can see. I'm now going to show you what the contiguous uh, box does or the element of this uh, uh, program does. Okay, with the tolerance set at 30 and the contiguous box ticked I'm going to select the green, left clicking the mouse button and it's removed the green but it's left the blue in the center I go across to the left the right hand side and I left click the blue and it's removed the blue and it's left the green box in the center now if I untick the contiguous box what will happen now you'll see I'm going to click the on the green in the left box here all the greens have been removed from the picture even over here every green bit of green has been removed so when you have the contiguous box unticked whatever color you've actually selected with the cursor it will remove from the whole picture I come across here to the blue 
I put the cursor on the blue, left click with the button on the mouse, and all the blues have gone. I hope this has been of some help to you. Uh, it's, as I say, it's a rather simplified explanation of what the uh, the two boxes do, the tolerance and the contiguous, but it uh, is a simple way of probably trying to understand it. Thanks for watching. I'm an absolute beginner.